Hello, I am Stuart. Here in the video, we will share the details of the PlayStation error code, CE1075520. As per our research, the error comes when users try to move PS5 games to external storage. Some users have shared that they can move some games to the external storage, but will have the error with some specific games. During our research, we could not find any official information on the error, so it is hard to say what exactly caused this error. However, we have found a few workarounds that may help with the error. To deal with the error, our first suggestion will be to check if you need to update your PlayStation console. If you need to update your console, consider updating it and check for the error again. To check the update for your PlayStation 5 console, go to the settings. Choose System. Choose System Software. Choose System Software Update and Settings. If there is a new update available, you will see that on the screen. In case the error is still coming despite your console being up to date, then try rebuilding the database and check for the error again. To rebuild the database on your PlayStation 5, shut down your PS5 console and make sure to not disconnect it from the power source. Tap and hold your console's power button for around 7 seconds and wait till you hear two beeps. Once you hear the second beep, Leave the power button to boot into safe mode. Connect your DualSense controller to your console using a micro USB cable. Then from your controller tap the PS button. Then go to the clear cache and rebuild database option using the D-pad and select it. Choose rebuild database. Tap OK. Now wait till the process finishes. Once the process is finished, your console will automatically reboot to normal. If the error persists after rebuilding the database and you are using an external storage with an adapter, then try connecting it over a USB-C if this is possible. During our research, there was a user who shared that he didn't receive the error after connecting his external drive over USB-C. So we suggest you try the same and check if this helps with the error. At last, if nothing helps with the issue, then we advise you to reach out to the PlayStation support to report the issue. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. Have any questions or issues, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next one.